This video is a quick review of essential techniques in the eMachine Shop browser CAD. Let's begin by creating a rectangular part like this and set the size to 5 by 3. To fit the drawing to the screen, click here. Now let's add a hole like this and set its side to a quarter inch. To see a 3D view, click the Pyramid button. Click and drag to rotate the item. To position an item accurately, drag it to a snap point like this. Then set a nudge step such as 0.1 and nudge into position with the arrow buttons. To create complex shapes, create overlapping primitives like this. Then click the Eraser tool and erase line segments. To make a copy of an existing shape, just select it. Then set a nudge distance and click the Repeat button. Clicking the arrow button will create multiple copies. You can click to the left, right, up or down. To round corners, select the shape and use the corner button. Enter the radius and click OK. eMachine Shop comes with a library of pre made shapes. To check it out, just click on Tools and then Shape Library. From here, you can browse a wide variety of categorized shapes that you can use in your designs. Now let's create a three-dimensional shape using the Z-axis. The Z-axis is the dimension perpendicular to the screen. Let's go to the 3D view and check the thickness of our design. Notice that it is currently thin. What we will do now is adjust the thickness. We can do that by closing the 3D view first, selecting the outline, and setting Z to a larger value like 0.5. Let's look at the 3D view again. Notice the sheet is now thicker. When we click on this circle, note that the Z value is air inside. Let's change it to 0.5 inch and check the 3D view again. The 3D view now shows a protrusion. Entering a negative value will create a pocket. Let's try minus 0.2 inch. and check the 3D view. Now it shows a pocket. To set edge effects like chamfers, first select a line. Then click on the line menu and select line machine. Enter the value and the angle and click OK. Going to the 3D view, you'll now see the chamfer is applied. To add side or bottom features, click on the View menu and select the desired view. To make turned parts, like a chess pawn, select Revolve on the Z drop list. To trace a shape from an image, use the Tracing feature or File, then Import. To select a material, click here. Material properties are on the website. To save your design, Click on File and Download. To order parts, use the checkmark button. Now you are ready to design your own parts. Thank you for watching. Please see our other videos for additional techniques.